Hello, kings, queens, nerds, and geeks. Powder Milk here, and welcome to Watch Dogs. The first Watch Dogs, not Watch Dogs 2. Now, guys, you're probably wondering, why am I playing this old-ass game? Reason being is because in this game was... Was... Let's see, what's the word? Was the... It was... It got to the idea of hackers, and that's why it was very intriguing. And... And I... And it was honestly favored over the, um over the second game. Uh, my personal reason why I fa I like both the games, here's this, but I favor this one more because of the story and how much more... This one was more all about reality. The criminals in the reality. But when it came to Watch Dogs 2, it was all about the fun and the bright colors and hacking. That's what it was all about. It was all about a movement. And that's what it is. Like, the, the entire game was a protest towards big companies and that's that's what the entire idea of the game is it's a bunch of pro hacking protesters I mean this one this is a guy he's a he's a vigilante and that's why I like this and, and it gets into the most personal point of his life but with the other games it doesn't really get much into it now I have beaten both of these games and also by the way I don't have any uh, like additional like content on this because I didn't buy any for the PC. I do have all the additional content for uh, the c computer, but I don't have it for this. Mm. Anyway. But anyway, we're going to start a new game. Yes, I'm going to confirm that. Now, I this is one of my most favorite games. It's one of my most favorites. Now, oh yeah, oh yeah, I almost forgot, guys. Did you notice my background? I'm in my new office. Um... So you guys know that this is my new office now. I did. Say, I remember I said that I was going to do it in the basement, but now I decided to. Ch I changed my mind and decided to do it in my walk-in closet. It's nice and compact, and I can put my clothes in the background, so so that way I can have more sound proofing. You know, like more uh, sound echo stuff. You know. Now, this is actually where you actually learn about Aiden Pierce. You, This is how you first see his skills. Right. Let's do it. Hold, hold on here. I want to turn up the volume. Sorry, guys. I'm sorry the volume's too low. He hacks into everything. The thing is, though, all of this is plausible. That's what's scary about this game. Is that it shows plausible things. Warning unknown device. This is where the shit hits the fan. Maurice. Now... 
Now, remember this guy, Maurice. Remember Maurice. He's very important until the end of the game. It's all about choices. This game is about choices. Well, the last is a choice. Depends on what you do. Now, this game also gives you an opportunity to be the vigilante or the villain. One thing I've always been was the vigilante, but never the villain. Vigilante you mean you're doing good for the community, and while the bad guy, you, or being the villain, you are notorious. But this game was always intriguing to me because it allowed you to manipulate the world around you. With just like a click of a button. Honestly, all games are kind of like that, but that's my point. Anyway, that's Maurice. Shoot Maurice. Okay, aim. It's been a while since I used the PC. Okay, I need to up to the uh, the uh, sensitivity. I need up the sensitivity on this. F. Now, hold on, I'm gonna up the sensitivity on this, because this is very, uh, very wonky right now. Uh, controls, mouse, and cue it, no. Back. Oh, I have trouble calibration, there you go. No, wait, not that. Back. Sorry if you're seeing menus, guys, I'm just trying to... Gameplay, there we go. Oh, there's a difficulty level, okay, um... Aim assist, please. Strong, please. I, I'm very bad with it. I'm bad with aiming. Uh, graphics. Um, there's got to be something here. That's not what I wanted. Keyboard and mouse, please. Look sensitivity. Come on. I need more sensitivity. And back. And apply. That should make it easier. Back, back, back. Okay, that's better. Okay, that is so much better. Okay, okay, this is where it gets into the hacking point. One of eight burner phones. No, okay, pop machine. It shows you the basic mechanics right here. Just this, this room right here. And this is the guy. Now, he came in with a gun for no reason. He ran out of ammo for a reason. 
He did that on purpose. Okay, that's bleach. I don't need that. Oh, what's this? Ooh, cash. One hundred and four dollars. Oh, I got a system key from that. Now, This guy is a higher is a hitman. So you guys so you guys know. He actually appears in the second game. In a DLC. Now, this is this is the stealth part because you can't kill anyone. There's no way you could kill anyone because there is no guns. You have no bullets, nothing. You got to base on stealth alone. See. So you got to basically work with what you got. Now they can't see me, which is great by me. Almost got caught just a second ago. That that. All right. Z. This shows you the uh, basic concept of it. Now watch. You actually can interact all around with everything. Those of you who haven't played yet. It's, just, it's a really interesting concept because... Superhero expert. I love that. Yeah, yeah. It also gives you small little details about people, which is pretty interesting. Now, this is the fun part. Gives you a little E. Now, now we're gonna now it's tell me use the tab button. And G. Now, Q.
Good, good, he got the bait. I'm already here, why isn't it not registering? Bad boy seven. Oh, there you go. And he has it. Uh, here's the fun part, because he likes getting into the mainframe and fucking with people. Oh, crap, lag. And hit tab. Blackout! And hit G! They can't see me very well. So shift in space is free run. Hurry up, hurry up before they get here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so, W is accelerate. S is brake. S is also reverse. Handbrake is the space bar. Shift to look behind you and see you to change cameras. Okay. What I'm trying to do, guys, is get out of their view. I know this kind of seems kind of out of the blue, but this is the best way I know how. Problem being, though, is it's hard to control the car in this game.
Okay. Okay, um... Press M in the Around the World map. Press, uh... Then for the GPS marker. And... Uh, the objectives, okay. My car is about to blow. Yeah, shut up. Okay, one thing I'm going to do is get out of this car. Um, not F. Uh, how do I get out? Oh, E. Okay, I get out with E. Okay. All right. Now we get in here. Yes. Yeah. Get up the stairs. Oh, watch this. Watch this. This is a bank account thing. Now, I can get money from people's bank accounts using the ATM hacking system. And that's how you gain money in the game. I'm pretty good at gaining this money. Once I get enough money, I can start buying bigger, better weapons, better gear, and all that stuff. You can also buy outfit, different outfits. That... That's his family. That's his sister and her and her, and her son. Now, now that we've reached our hideout, we can actually, uh... Cross for that. Got a system key? Oh, I got a skill point. Okay, now it's telling me to use this. It wants me to use this. Gates and garages. It's best to use. Oh, I got five skill points I can spend right now. So it gives me a chance to combat. Mm, what's this? Point, steady aim. Focus. Trust me, every bit of these things are plausible to get. Ooh, frag grenades. Ooh, and a jam comms. Uh, I, I think. How much does it cost? One. And grenades. I definitely want to be able to jam grenade, make grenades. Um, driving. Um, I do need to be able to unlock cars because that is going to be a problem later on. Uh oh. Uh, focus uh, extra battery. It's very important to have batteries. What's this? Um, I'll deal with the L-Tram later. And, hmm, I never actually used focus. I, I never really used it. It was just so unnecessary with me. Um, you know what? I think I'll use the old. No, no, no. Use this. I'll use this. Because that is very useful when you, you at least expect it. So I'm all out of skill points. So I got what I needed. Bottom of the eighth. And now I could do a lot more. Now. Some more stuff in the bathroom I can contain. I'll go to sleep when I. Yeah, yeah, rest system, yeah. Ooh, 
Ooh, more stuff. More chemical components. No, guys, all this stuff is uh, very important when you want to... Okay, let's go to the wardrobe. I only have the one equipped it, so... Oh, let's go hear the audio log. Yeah, so you learn more about Aiden Pierce as the game goes in. And sleep. This is the memory he has. And by the way, that little glitch thing that's going on, that's part of the game. That's actually in the game. Sorry if it seems like the game's like lagging or anything, but that's actually part of the game. Like the glitches and stuff, like, but that's part of the game. He loves his nieces his and nephews. He had a strong bond with them, and that's why I like Aiden Pierce as a character. Thank you for the money. More money. System key. Re oh, potential crime. Recent panic attack. Dude, what's the matter? Scanning potential crime. No, you're not. Oh, food! 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 Ah, ah food. Thank you. I love you. I love you. Of course not. Anyway. Anyway. Food, everybody. Screw that. I'm going over there now.
Okay, I hit Z to identify. Where is Z to? Wish you would tell me what F take down. There we go. That's that's the shit I'm talking about. See, this is how you build up reputation. You can also scan for music songs you can play, which I won't play. Oh, I got a new skill point already. Oh, no wait. Progression awards. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> the more of these you do, the more stuff you can get. Crimes detected. Increase weapon switch speed. Um, uh, criminal convoys you do. You see, the more of these missions you do, the more of this stuff you earn. Like, it, it please, like if you do more of these, I want to do gang hideouts. You got to do fixer contracts. Criminal crimes detected. Criminal convoys. The more you do, the more stuff you can turn. See what I mean? Like, this game is all based around criminal being a vigilante, and that's the entire concept. Okay, there's a... Turn the music off. I can't have the music playing. Where's the music app? Media app. Turn it off. Okay, it's stopped. Okay, there's my car over there. Thank you for the bit money. Oopsie. <laughs> okay, hold on. I hit map. What's this? Oh, guys, these are important to have.
you want to, so you guys, uh, so you guys know what I'm doing. This is me expanding my hacking abilities because in the game you can only hack so far with certain things. Like, this will expand your ability to hack the environment more. Like, for example, I will not be able to hack into bridges or things like that unless I have this. There we go, I unlock the door, and this part requires me to be near it manually. And E. This is gonna scan it. Hmm. Unlock every song in the song sneak app. Um, that requires 23 songs, huh? If I find... Complete every privacy invasion. That's going to take a lot. There's 30 of them. What does it do? Achievement uh, privacy invasions. Oh, these are like special achievements, and they give me um, special things. Clear signals. Uh, achieve earn for CTOS towers. So if I get all the CTOS towers, which is not hard, I've done it before. Um, CTOS breach. Achievement earned for every CTOS breach contract. Uh, achievement earned for participating in city hotspots. And uh, audio logs. You can collect all t collect ten audio logs. Well, you get a an XP bonus. Like there's different things you can do. Mini games such as Cash Run, Chess, Drink Inking Games, NVZN, Poker, or Shell Games. There's even like things for the online gaming, which I'm probably gonna have little access to right now. Uh, the CTOS breaches, investigations of human trafficking, QR codes, burner phones, missing persons, weapons trade. All that stuff. There's all kinds of stuff. Which I'm going to try to complete this game 100%. I don't have... Oh, I have a single skill point. Okay. Combat. Quick... Uh, yes. District content. Oh yeah, this shows you everything that's in the area. Yeah, okay, this is where I gotta go. Well, there we go, that's how I get out of there. Yeah, I knew that would happen. Traffic get backed up. E. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shut up. Now, it's very hard to... Con I need to get a controller. As soon as I can, I'll get a controller. Now, we're gonna... Oh, 
Back so okay. So see, I want to get a controller next time I play this because all future missions are going to require me to have a controller. For um. Actually, right now, I'm not even going to continue to the next uh, mission because of the simple fact that it's going to require me to drive. And uh, it's going to be very hard for me to do. So, anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this awesome episode of Watch Dogs. And I'll see you guys in the next video. I'll catch you guys later. Stay nerdy, my friends. Bye-bye.